Hello, this is Mr. Chabry. We are here facing a Zacian, so Groudon Charizard should be somewhere out here. But we do have... Um, we do have a uh, water type. Two of them, potentially. I don't know what this Urshifu is, uh, but I do feel like it's probably going to be the water type one. We gotta keep, in that, keep that in mind. Um, and then we have the Alolan Persian. Which I feel like is mostly for shenanigans, so... Get Whimsicott. There's no Trick Rumors on my opponent's team, so we'll take advantage of that. Um, I'm thinking I want Indeedee here, maybe? Because that will protect us from Aqua Jets. We do want Charizard somewhere. Yeah, we do want Charizard somewhere. I don't know if we want Groudon, though, because... Potentially three things would want to see Groudon at the other side. However, I do feel like Solgaleo should help us out. Um, problem is, I don't really have much in terms of a Groudon counter against my opponent. Hmm. I, th I think we do still go Groudon. Because Zacian's a big threat and my opponent's Groudon's a big threat. And I don't have anything that's necessarily great against my opponent's Groudon. Um, if I had, like, a water type, you know, that could help us against the Groudon. An ice. A Pokemon that has ice moves or grass type Pokemon that would help, but we don't have any of those things, so our best bet is to have our own Groudon face the Groudon. We have, um, Shenanigans and, uh, Lapras, of course. Fake Out. Fake out, possibly, right? Um, let's get our Indeed Eat out. Oh, didn't bring Indeed Eat. What was I thinking? I thought we brought it for a second. What made me decide against that? Actually, I don't know what made me because I, I must have just not clicked it and thought about clicking it and then based my team off of thinking it was there. Um. Indeed, he still would have been great, though, here. Um, let's go ahead and, uh... Get Solgaleo out here. We'll tell in here. I think that's our, uh, best bet. If had I brought Indeed, I would have brought it in. Actually, no, I don't... I would have blocked the fake out. But Lapras still gets its, uh, shenanigans up. And that's the thing I am really worried about. Uh, I don't think there's much I can do in terms of that, though. We're going to have to face an Aurora Vel pretty much early on in this game. Yeah, so obviously trying to get rid of my Groudon here. I'm not going to let you have it, obviously. Because I do not want my Groudon gone. But, yeah, that's... Ooh, fake out. Kind of scary. Um, I'll protect here, maybe? I'll throw a Moonblast at the, uh, the Kitty Cat. I think that's what I'll do. Um... I think, if I have to make a guess what I think, I think the Alolan uh, Persian's going to go after my Solgaleo. Kitty Cat versus Kitty Cat, you know what I'm saying. Um, but we're going to protect. Just to see if we can uh, get some attacks targeting that Amon. Moonblast, get some chip on that thing. Foul play. We went for a protect, so I'm not worried. Um... G-Max Resonance will finish off our poor Whimsicott, who really didn't get to do much. I mean, one Moonblast was decent, but uh, that's the unfortunate thing. I'll bring in Groudon on that side, and then Hard Switch into Charizard against the Foul Play. I think. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll get Charizard on this side. And, um, wait. 
Instead... Yeah, we have to we have to wild charge, right? No, we do. I think I think our best bet is to go into Zarg here and just precipice. I think that I think that's really our best bet. I think that's our best bet. Foul play into our Zard. We take that because we're not an um, attacking Pokemon on that side. Alright, Groudon goes down, unfortunately. <clears throat> not much I can do about that. Um, we do lose our well we still have we still have weather. That's a good thing. That's a good that's a really good thing. Um All right, and the Lapras is gone, so are we able to come back? I don't know. This is still my opponent's lead Pokemon. Um, but we will hit that thing as hard as we can. And we'll double target it. I think if we're able, honestly, if we're able to get the fire going, the wildfire going... Uh, Persian should go down this turn to that. So if we can double target Lapras, I'm hoping we can successfully fire off both moves. Get rid of that Lapras. But I do feel like a foul play is coming. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, against all hope, that we survive the foul play on Solgaleo. And we'll get a nice weakness policy boost, which... Should help us out here at the end game. That should help us out in this end game. All right, we fire that off. Nice, nice, nice. All right, all right. So, uh, Persian goes down this turn. No, oh, we're faster too. Okay. Wow, okay, well, that, that kind of bites. That kind of actually bites a lot. Foul play. Um, mm, we don't live that, unfortunately. Huh. Is there a way we can turn this around? Of course, uh, the Persian goes down, but we are pretty badly damaged. Um, gives you an idea of how bulky Persian can be with that ability it has. It has uh, the... I think it's called the fur coat, where it has... It boosts its defenses against physical attack that you know contact um i don't think we win this one looking at what we're facing here i don't think we win this at all yeah and that's the dark type one so i mean i can hit this but my opponent still has the aurora veil and that's a scarfed groudon so we're, unfortunately we're not going to win this one but we put up quite a fight. We really did. And in the, in the end, there's going to be some games that you're going to struggle more with. And that's the thing with your team matchup. So if you like this, thumbs up. Subscribe. I'll see you in the next Pokemon video.